usually everybody on the board the aircraft is looking for wildlife. Everybody likes to see them, and uh, I've got a pretty good eye for it, so I do point them out. Uh, most frequent thing we see is the doll sheep, and usually a moose, caribou, and occasionally a bear. I hope they get to see the splendor and the beauty of this land and the remoteness, and that's the beauty of the helicopter. It's untouched out there. There's no roads or trails, uh, so it's almost a wilderness. We had to fly a, a large number of folks up uh, around the mountain here, give them a tour of their lifetime, and typically we get feedback time and time again that this is the highlight of their whole trip. We have people fly in with K2 Aviation and they're great people, uh, so hopefully they enjoy their flights and then they come out and they hike with us. This is the un most unique place I think I've ever been in my life, you know, from the towering mountains to the glaciers, you know, to the, the water, it's, you know, it's really unique. Even the people think of glaciers being really big, the small things here you just really start to appreciate because it's a lot of lichen and fungi and uh, it's a lot of small, neat rocks and plants. There's a, about a half a million people going to Denali through the front gates to the north here, but you know maybe only a few hundred have ever been here to this lake, so it's, it's pretty unique. The Royal Caribbean especially has, has made bringing people to Alaska uh, affordable, and it's really brought a lot of people up to Alaska that probably wouldn't have been able to come up because it's much more affordable to be able to go on, the, do the cruise, and that makes it really amazing for everybody.